Hi guys, so welcome to my first video. Um, I'm pretty new to YouTube, so bear with me as I try to learn all of the YouTube techniques. So today we're going to be doing the unboxing of the Tarte Limited Lippies Deluxe Edition. And so it comes in two tones, the purple tones and then the pink tones below. But let's just open this up. This went Ulta exclusive, I believe. Maybe not. But it was $42, but you get eight lippies. So that's a pretty good deal. It retails at $5 a lippy, which is good for Tarte. Get your tattoo. Okay, I got it. Okay, so. So the first one in the pink swatch, so this one's called Manny, and it's basically just a dusty rose. I like how it's pretty smooth. It's easy to apply, it goes on pretty easily. It covers a lot of lip. <laughs> and as you can see from my skin tone, it's pretty dark. But overall, I like the way it looks. Um, it's not really that dusty to me. So I like this one. It's pretty dark for a dusty rose, but... So the second one in the pink swatch is this one's called Mauve Berry. It's pretty dark, it's about actually like a pinker version of my shirt. Honestly, this one just looks like a darker version of Dusty Rose. And maybe that's because I applied it before this, but I like the color. It contrasts well with my skin and I just feel like it's very complimenting. So the next one in the pink set is this one. And this is called Honey, and I think I'm really going to like this. It's going to be a little darker than what's showing here, but let's see. I really like this one. Kind of violet with like nude undertone. This one is probably my favorite. Again, this one called Honey, and it's kind of a rosy brown. I don't know. I like this a lot, and I'm going to come back to it. It's going to be my go-to with me from now on. So the last one in the pink lippies is the one on the far end. Um, it is the Juicy, which is basically just a red. It looks really nice compared to my skin tone. It might be a little bit too contrasting, but Juicy is definitely very intense. I am very impressed by the saturation of the pigment in this lippy, and it makes me want to have false lashes on and I really want some on but I have to go to a dinner after this and I don't want to have to deal with all of that so I would really like this for a night out or you can't see your whole face and you just want like a little pop of color juicy is perfect kind of dark but still an awesome thing okay so moving on to the purple set um, we have like a mauve over here some nude colors and then it's kind of like a whole mauve over here but it's just a little more intense. So let's jump into the purple lippies. On this side we have Soul and Soul is basically just this deep plum. Kind of looks like those wines and stuff except it's a little more purpley than like red wine but okay so it's definitely very deep but I mean that's what I that's what I expected. So this one is definitely a lot darker than the rest of the purple liquid and also all of the pink ones. It takes a lot to get as complex and dark as you want in a solid shade, but once you apply enough of it, it goes pretty well on your lips, honestly. I'm pretty impressed with the plum that I will definitely go to in the winter. So at this point, I know my lips are super saturated and probably a lot darker than um, nude lips or lips that I would begin with with a clean face, but I don't have any specific lip mirrors, so I've just been using a tissue. So this one, the next one that I'm going to swatch from the purple set is called Perf, and it is in a plummy rose, and I've heard a lot about this one, um, so I'm super excited to use it. It is pretty nude with a warmer rose. It's definitely got a rose undertone to it, which is why it's a plummy rose, but I'm super excited to try Perf. I heard a lot about it. Yeah, let's see if I can apply it over my dark lips. Just like with the darker ones underneath, it kind of gives it a, an ombre or contoured lip. I kind of like it. And I would like experiment mixing these lippies. Okay, so Perf kind of looks a little bit matte. Maybe that's just what I've been using underneath the plums, but it feels really nice on my lips, just like all of these lippies, and I really don't have any complaints. I mean, it's just a beautiful color, and I feel like... I'm just going to be going to these lippies all the time. Okay, so the next one in my swatch, which is going to be super difficult to 
put on my lips since they are so dark at this point in the video is called Candy and it's basically just this beautiful peachy nude. It, it blends into my skin very well though it's a little bit warmer than my skin. So that is what Candy looks like on my skin. I have very pale skin so it is definitely probably not as contrasting to your skin. It might even be lighter. But let's see what they look like on my lips. This one is so gorgeous. Oh, I kind of feel like it's like an umber, but it, it blends beautifully. This is like the effortless nude lip that everyone wants. So this one, Candy, is beautiful. It is the perfect nude in my opinion for my skin tone and even someone a lot darker complected than I could totally pull this off. It is just a beautiful all-around nude. It has peacher nude than a normal like concealer nude but it is just beautiful and I love the way it looks on my lips. Oh, this looks so beautiful. Okay so the last one in the purple swatch set keep saying swatch, it's not a swatch, it's a set. The last one in the purple set is called Latte and it is a brown lippy that just looks super dark compared to my skin now that I look at it. But I think I have high expectations for this one. Okay so my camera died and I didn't get to record the last part of my video which is super disappointing but I mean so I'm just going to go ahead and try it just like this. I know this isn't ideal and I wouldn't prefer it, but it's what we have to work with. I'm just gonna dab this on. So it's definitely a little bit harder to get in the corners than the other ones as it is kind of dark. Kind of dark. It's the darkest lippy in the set. With practice, all things are possible. So overall, all of these are super beautiful. Um, a few of them are similar to each other, so if you are looking for just a few shades, then I would suggest buying them individually, although I don't know if that is possible, which probably would have been good to find out before I did this video. But if you like this video, feel free to leave comments, feedback, whatever you want. Um, it's been so much fun hanging out with you guys, and I hope to see you in the next video, which hopefully will be soon.